Hi, it's Jennifer Don Gaviola, and I want to do something fun today. Uh, what I feel inspired to share with you today is um, really talking about self-expression, um, uh, especially for introverts. Um, sometimes we see what's out there in the world that we feel like we have to be the loudest or we have to be the most aggressive to get attention um, or have to talk a lot and I am learning more and more it's really what makes us, what sets us apart is really about not talking a lot or making a lot of noise but expressing ourselves expressing ourselves from a really uh, heart-centered real place um, so I want to do something fun today talk about beauty st and style and um, there's something about like in my experience oh hi but if you could type in the chat um, who's here that way I could say hi to you and then you can always like comment but there's something for me like when I first started my business uh, I didn't know really how to do this but uh, because as an introvert you're naturally very intuitive that for me I I started out just expressing myself really through my style and that's really how honestly that's how people have found me I'm not a stylist per se but that it's almost like that's the gateway like people are like oh I like your earrings or I like Sarah hi Sarah nice to see you um yeah like for me what speaks to me is beauty especially inner beauty and soulful style and so I wanted to share a little bit about how I see beauty and style and share some poetry too um about these topics because it really is a fun way for you to express yourself without this pressure of performing because it's really just for you it's really <laughs> just for you and the more that you give yourself permission to express yourself for you first you will naturally attract the right people to you because what I've learned I've been doing branding for over 18 years uh, your brand is a natural extension of you and so the more that you give yourself permission to express yourself energetically and magnetically you will attract the right people to you because people can feel you so when you express yourself you're feeling uh, into yourself you're seeing what fe what feels good to you what speaks to your heart and then you're expressing out and that um, energy that good vibe naturally draws the right people to you so to inspire you I'm going to show you stuff that's inspiring me and read you some poetry so I hope this is inspiring for you so first off I wanted to share this do 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 see this shirt it's called beauty where I be I actually started my business putting poetry on t-shirts um, I was a very successful design director uh, let's see over seven years ago and then I lost my job and I got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis very difficult time in my life but uh, I took some time off and um, I got divine guidance to put my poetry on clothes. It did not make any damn sense to my ego, but I lost everything, so I just went for it. So I put my poetry on clothes. I, like I said, I love beauty and fashion, so I was like, ah, okay, because I like the intention of helping women to express their beauty and their power from the inside out. So I did it, sold my stuff like online and Etsy and sold stuff around uh, boutiques and around town and here in Houston and it was even in Houston Fashion Week it was really really awesome uh, but how everything came full circle is now I'm helping uh, quiet leaders like myself really use that inner beauty that that quiet power but really to express that from the inside out with their brands so just want to give you a little perspective back there but I wanted to first read this poem for you and I hope it really inspires you to remind you of the beauty that you already have right now so this one's called beauty where I be where my Sun rises I lift up my heart where do I begin in this never-ending March I lift up my eyes I am blinded by life's gifts I see all truth and dismiss societal myths where shall I move to? I don't know where to stand. I'm capable of much, but where am I to land? I just trust in my stillness. My silence speaks so low. 
yet in the stillness is where my power flows. So I reach, I grasp, I breathe for more to seek, yet one truth I know, beauty where I be. So I hope you were feeling that poem. It's one of my favorites. Uh, Sarah says, very cool. I understand how hard things can get. I'm hopefully coming out of my darkness right now. Yes. I call that the cocoon phase, Sarah. Like everyone goes through like our caterpillar phase where we're like, you know, doing our own thing, just exploring the world. And then I find at some point something happens in our life to make us really look deeper and reflect on our life in a deeper way. And, you know, things can get rough. Like when I lost my job and got sick, that was really, I, I'd say the darkest, one of the darkest times of my life. But I prayed for the grace to find um, uh, what I was meant to learn from that. Oh, that poem is so beautiful and powerful. Oh, you're so welcome. I have one more for you too. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, it really gives me a lot of joy to express myself through poetry and design. And I do love branding. But branding, I, you know, branding, a lot of people associate branding with, okay, you got to be on Twitter or, or Snapchat and those are platforms. But to me, I, I really look at your brand as, the, as a natural extension of you. And you're just really having a conversation, trying to help people move from one place to another place, like with this ultimate transformation that they want, giving your expertise. So I hope that's helpful, but yeah, you, you completely agree. Yay, I'm so glad. I'm so happy that you uh, are feeling my poem and uh, that you resonate with this because um, I think sometimes, I don't know, I don't know about you, but sometimes we do like working all day, it just feels heavy. And so like today I was just like, I just want to do something fun. God, you know, I just want to do something light and, and fun. So this felt easy to me. So, um, okay, so now I want to show you this. Okay, so here is another of my poetic teas. This is called Light My Style. This top here, this is a poem I have. So this one, um, let me, let me see. Hold on. Before I read you the poem, I did want to say, style has been such a, a sacred, sacred practice for me. Truly, it has been like my way of tuning into myself. I, honestly, when I lost my job and got sick, um, if I didn't really allow myself to express myself through style, I would be like still depressed, still sick, because that was really my, again, my gateway to, to really f find myself again. So um, I actually have an acronym. I created an ebook um, probably three years ago. Uh, it was divine, divinely uh, guided as well, and it's called The Spirit of Style. And um, the acronym that God gave me is Spiritually Translating Your Life's Essence. And that is everything to me. Like style is like everyone is born with a certain essence, a core essence about who they are. So when you're putting yourself out there, it's about expressing that in everything that you share. It's really that simple, but to get down to that core, that's the tricky part. So um, I just really, that's why I wanted to talk about style and beauty in this way. Because to me, this is an easy and fun way to experiment and see what that essence is for you. And then give yourself permission to express that. So I'm going to inspire you some more with this poem. Okay, so let me flip the camera again. Okay. Light my style. Style. For the brave, the seeker the one whose fire burns within and seeks to ignite in unique fashion. Bursts of life come alive when you connect with your soul and adorn with love and promise. Seek the connection to life, own your truth and shine, your light, your truth, your power. Yeah, so I hope you like that one too, like my style. Um, but again, I really just want to encourage you to see beauty and style, not just as is like luxury sort of things, like I'm going to treat myself. Uh, really, beauty is really a universal language. And I feel like because we as introverts can feel so deeply, beauty is a way that we, uh, we can reconnect with our own hearts by 
you know, surrounding by ourselves with beauty. Beauty is like a universal language. And then style, you know, when I talk about that, I'm not talking about trends. I'm not talking about anything like materialistic. I'm really talking about when you give yourself permission to love what you love and wear it and express yourself in that way, that will build your confidence way beyond uh, our ego. That our style is really a way to have this deep ongoing conversation with our spirit, with our soul. I'm a, I'm a living, walking testimony to that because uh, before that all went down when I lost my job and got sick, um, I really ha was very disconnected from myself. But going deeply in finding my own inner beauty and recognizing the essence of who I am through my style, that is what helped me to get really to get to this place giving myself permission to express myself, to use my voice, to show up in ways that maybe I've never seen other people express themselves in this way, but it felt right to me. So I just want to encourage you to express yourself in whatever way feels right to you because uh, people, more and more I'm learning more and more, why people are drawn to you is because when you're more, most comfortable with yourself and you feel free within yourself, that's when you become like absolutely magnetic and people want more of that because ultimately people want to be free themselves. So the more we can cultivate that sense of inner beauty, inner freedom, our own style, I'm telling you, this is like an organic and um, heartfelt way to attract the right people to us in our life and our business. Okay, now I want to share like what's speaking to me and then give you again some inspiration like for you to go in your closet or I'm not saying you got to go shop everywhere, but really it's just explore what what's speaking to you, right? So these earrings, you see, they're clear here. Let me show you this. Check this out. Look at these damn boots. Oh my God, they're clear. Like, do you see these? Oh my God. Yes, yes, oh my god, okay. Okay, <laughs> I never know what I love until I see it. It's not like a logical thing. I just like notice, I'm like, oh, I'm into clear lately. I don't know why, but then I've been reflecting on what is that about? And for me, um, during this launch, I don't know if y'all been, uh, I've actually been in the, in the middle of the launch right now for my Quiet Voice Big Impact Live Retreat. And I've been doing a ton of inner work, a ton. And uh, what I've come to, I've come to a place now where I feel, uh, actually feels good to share more of my vulnerable side. And more of like, I think that's what this whole clear, this transparent thing, it's not logical, I didn't plan for it to be like this, but I feel like that's why uh, my spirit is drawn to more of this like transparent, um, I don't know, accessories. Is because I, in my heart and my spirit, feel more comfortable being really more transparent with myself and honest with myself about like some of the dark stuff that I am working through to to heal and feeling okay with sharing that with y'all. I'm naturally very private, but I feel really inspired to share um, more openly with the intention to serve. Because I know that by me sharing, my intention is to, to help other people really feel um, that they can, you know, go there with themselves and give themselves permission to um, be honest with themselves, heal those, those fears that are holding us back, and to know that you're not alone. My God. Like, <laughs> when I hear other people sharing their stories, I'm like, oh my God. Then there, it makes me feel like I'm not alone. So does that, does that speak to you, Sarah? Um, another and whoever else is on the on the call, let me know um, because I feel like the more that we can be brave and express who we are, especially as introverts, that's really what's gonna make you stand out because it's it's really about your energy and your vibe. So that's why, to me, the whole style and beauty piece, what I'm talking about today, it's just a really uh, doable and easy way just to start. Just to, just to give yourself permission to to love what you love because that is the foundation. Um, because once you get really tuned in with yourself from a heart-centered place, it's going to build your confidence and then you're going to feel more confident to connect with people. 
your your focus will be less about your fears of being visible. The focus will be more about I have something to share that's valuable because because you believe it, right? And that's what I want for you is for you to trust that you have been given this life for a reason and that is proof enough that you have value. So give yourself permission to express whatever is wanting to be expressed through you. You're ultimately like this divine channel that life is wanting to express something very, very unique that can only come through you. Sarah says, absolutely, I agree with everything you're saying. Oh, good, yay, that makes me happy. So that's what I wanted to share today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm so happy that you loved my, uh, my, my poem, Beauty Where I Be and also Light My Style. And I, I, it was fun sharing like what's speaking to me. You know what? If you feel inspired to share a video, I think I, um, I think that I put a video challenge on Friday, you know, to encourage you to share um, your own video, or you can share photos of pieces that really speak to you. Because, like again, these clear things they, they speak to this avant-garde sort of side, this progressive side, but also this honesty. This is like genuine, um, like I have nothing to hide. <laughs> like I, I know I'm not perfect, but you know. Uh, I feel like the more I embrace that, um, I don't know, I just feel like that it makes it more easy to connect with other people because they know I'm coming from a real place. So any, if you have any questions or comments, just put it in the chat. But I really appreciate you um, hanging out with me today. Uh, I just wanted to do something light. And um, this whole thing about self-expression has been coming up and I just wanted to encourage you as an introvert, um, it's not so much about being loud or making noise to stand out. Because I think, especially online, we feel like we have to be the loudest to stand out. It's about tuning into your heart, tuning into what lights you up, and then expressing from that place. That is what's going to make you stand out. Because no one, no one can touch you from that place. Because no one can be you, right? So, I think that's it. So I appreciate you being here and then I will chat with you in our Quiet Voice Big Impact uh, community group. And uh, if you have any last minute questions or, or comments, feel free to chat. Um, but thank you so much for being here and uh, I just want you to know just keep wherever you are in your, in your business, uh, in your life in general, like honor your pace. Honor where you are and know that how you're naturally built is on purpose and just take small steps forward and but give yourself permission to express yourself. Okay, well, I'm going to go, but I will talk with you in our group.